Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Chrysler, and today I'm going to be talking about feminine hygiene, and I've been seeing so many videos on YouTube about this topic. I've been wanting to film this video for so long because I actually see a lot of vulvas. And the reason why is because that is actually a part of my job. I am a licensed esthetician. I wax people's Brazilians on a regular basis, so I don't even know how many vulvas I've seen since my career began and I've been doing this for about five years. And I'm here to give you guys some tips so I'm not just here to like bash ladies because I obviously am a lady. I wanna start off by saying that we all have a scent, that's just normal. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of science information. We have two different types of sweat glands. We have eccrine and apocrine. And eccrine glands are all over our body, that's the regular pores that sweat. And then the apocrine glands are in our armpits our areolas and our crotches, and those can give off a scent, okay? Our pheromones. So the first thing I wanna talk about is hair. I'm not here to tell you to remove your hair. You do whatever you want with your hair. I'm just saying that if you have hair, the hair will hold on to odor. It's just a thing, like, it holds on to bacteria. Bacteria is what causes that scent in our underarms, and that's why we need to clean them on a regular basis. So we have those sweat glands down there, and if you have a full-on bush do whatever you want I'm not telling you to shave or wax or laser it off whatever do what you want but if you have a lot of hair down there just know that you're gonna have to like clean off on a regular basis if you don't shower every single day some people don't so that's one thing that you want to keep in mind when it comes to the outside but we're gonna get we're gonna get in there okay because it's just there's so much to say so there is a difference between smelling like funky I like to call it pungent Ugh, I hate that word but when someone comes in to get a bikini wax and there is just a foul smelling something I call it pungent the word is just disgusting and I basically have a professional poker face hi you're here to get waxed cool yeah that's what I have to do I don't say anything it's embarrassing and that's my job I'm here to make sure the person feels comfortable and I'm gonna do my job and you can skedaddle all on out of here and that's a wrap it's summer so I'm expecting more at this time of year people are going to be coming in in all types of states there is that sweat smell I've smelt a couple times in the past week and I honestly just want to yeah that's me but poker face like I said professional also one thing I want to mention this about resilience when people I feel like people imagine the young girls coming in for these bikini waxes and stuff and like ew when the older ladies come in for the bikini waxes but no it's a total opposite for me when I see a teenager I'm honestly scared for my life because I don't know if she understands the situation down there I don't know if she's educated on how she should be cleaning herself were they not taught I don't know they're just like not into cleaning themselves but those are the cases where I usually am not very happy about the situation because girlfriend doesn't have her life together yet she's young okay so the older ladies know what they're doing they come in freshly showered like they smell good that whole situation is awesome for me if you're a teenager I'm here to help you I just want you to know what you have to do so I'm going to give you guys two options when you're in the shower you can't use a poof you should be using this guy, okay? Either in the shower or when you get out. This can turn into a mitt. You can make it fun. You can do that, you can do whatever you want. This thing will save you. You don't need all these fancy soaps. I remember in high school, Summer's Eve came out and I thought like, oh my God, this is magical. They're gonna change my life. I wasn't even aware of my smell if like I had one because I knew what I looked like. You better know what you look like down there. You don't know all kinds of folds you might have to be cleaning, and that's the thing. There are folds. Our labia comes in all shapes and sizes. I've seen all shapes and sizes. Some need a minimal cleaning. Some things need to be scooted over a bit so you can get in there and clean. But that's a situation where people are not cleaning. They don't realize that you gotta like move 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 things i don't want any mean remarks about lola's down in the comments okay i like to preach body positivity i don't want that in the comments because i'm here to give you guys the real reason why you might be smelling funky like i have had situations where i could tell that this poor crotch was not clean thoroughly in probably like a week poker face that's what had to happen if the washcloth isn't enough these 
are what you need. Q-tips. There's something about Q-tips that are just exciting. They're like really precise and you can get in there. You can get exactly where you need to go. These, this is all you need to make sure that your life is uh, happy down there. Next, I wanna talk about fragrance. People think that they need to like cover everything up with fragrance and all that stuff that could be causing more irritation and that might affect your vaginal canal, the pH in there. You don't need all this crazy fragrance. Don't use a harsh body wash, okay? You don't need to use Summer's Eve. Um, if you want to, go ahead. But I'm just saying, people are sensitive down there and they think that these washes are going to solve all their problems, but in reality, just no. Filipino lady hack. This is the next thing that I'm super excited to share with you because if you don't have a Filipino friend, if you're Filipino, you may know, but in every single Filipino lady's bathroom, there is what you call a tabo. It is a bucket. I'm gonna show you mine right here. I did not realize that I would have one until one day I found myself in my Tupperware cabinet in the kitchen, taking out the Tupperware that mostly resembled a tabo. And I personally use this when I use my Diva Cup during the time of the month. I thoroughly cleanse myself. I use it to cleanse the Diva Cup. And that is why I have that by my sink. That is one thing you can do. You don't have to get into the shower if you're just not into the shower. So those are all the tips that I have to share. That is my advice from a professional that has seen over a thousand vulvas. And I hope it helped you out. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you're new, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.